Les Paul Traditionals. This video is about the Les Paul Traditional. We did this as part of a deep dive on many Gibsons that you can get on the used market at the moment for a similar kind of price figure. Um, you know, somewhere between £1,500 and £2,000. Somewhere around about that. And we compared it against uh, the classic and some standards from over the years. The traditional is an interesting guitar because they're not they're not necessarily ubiquitous. You don't see them around everywhere. What what I like about the um, some of the features that I like about that guitar are the fact that it's not weight relieved in any way, and it has a nice fifties neck. So some of those necks were quite inconsistent that we found as well. So some were really thick and chunky and quite hard to actually navigate because of the size of the shoulders. Possibly if you were, had bigger hands or we're getting on in your your sort of age and we're struggling with your hands um, might be a more comfortable option we found that the pickups were lovely they had these Alnico 2 um, burst booker 1 and 2 depending on which uh, configuration it was on and um, they come in a nice range of colours so there was like three bursts so one was a uh, cherry um, sunburst which is a heritage cherry sunburst honey burst and tobacco sunburst so um, it's not a common guitar, it's worth having a look at and uh, here's the video. Because the traditional is a, is a guitar that a lot of people almost forget about um, and, and again price lower, they're almost price were, they don't make it now. Price very um, very similar to what the classics were. And we've got a couple of traditionals so let's get into those. Yeah, 100%, let's do it. <laughs> Should we talk about these then? Right then, yeah, so, um, traditionals. Um, I've got a traditional here and another one just here. And traditional was something that came in for Gibson in 2008. Right. Yeah, 2008 they started this. Um, and they, as they did in the 2015 period, they just, you know, took the traditional and, I don't know, threw things at it. Because I think they had a high performance version of traditional where they gave it a um, access point here where they scar carved oh, it all yeah, away. Yeah, um, they give that uh, locking uh, G-Force robotic tuners again. Um, can't remember if they give it push pulls or not. They gave it some really cool pick guard where it didn't have a bracket here where it clipped in. So there was like right. two little holes either side here where it just clipped in, no screws. So you could have a pick guard on and off without any holes in your guitar. Right. Um, and then in 2016, mm. where they went, oh dear, we've ruined everything. They went back from that and they redid the traditional for another three years till 2019. And the traditional, and a lot of people ask me this question, what's the difference between a traditional and a 50 standard? I've had them in many aspects of both. And from what I can determine is the traditional basically turned into the 50 standard. Right. And what I think the best thing to do is you play that and then you play this and you tell me if you can really feel any major differences. Because you haven't played this yet. I've never played a traditional no, at all. You haven't so. played this one, you haven't played that one. And what we'll do is you play that one, play this one, back to that one, and then this one. Yeah, yeah. And then you tell me, because as, as, this is the first time that you've played. Yeah, this is almost you, like, you know. A blindfold test blindfold. that you haven't experienced. This one's really good. I like that. This one. is a really I good like Les Paul. That's my favourite one of the bunch. Yeah, this is ace. <laughs> It's great. Doing everything right. It does all the right things. Have yes. a go on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is a. In... Uh, show me back here. Stuff. Can't remember the number. What is it? It's two thousand and lights. Two thousand and fifteen. Forty. Is it got the flag on the the anniversary? No, this one has. Two thousand and sixteen. That is. Instantly, the neck feels a little bit slimmer but not like a 60s. No, it's not, so it's definitely 50. But it, it's not as much of a handful as that one. Not that there's a problem with that one, of course. I've, I've played some in the past. Oh, this? Really chunky. Well, I went really the Mm -hmm. 
as lively as that one. No. It feels a bit um, indirect, yes. which is a strange way to describe. No, I know what you mean. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, they do feel mm -hmm. ever so slightly different. But I want you to go back to that one before I pass you this one because the one next sure. to me is slightly different to that one there. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, apart from the visual mm -hmm. aspect, it's not going to pick up mm -hmm. the one down here. <laughs> That is a chair. chairs. It's a chair. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. chair. It's not. But yeah, it is. <laughs> They're new chairs. New chairs? No expense spared. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just so thick. Yeah, yeah, this is like someone's... Well, someone's run my amp through a booster pedal yeah, or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just got that... It's like the best amp that these people have. Are they? Yeah, they're always a little bit softer. This, they're all subtractive guitars. They're, they're a subtractive thing. Massively. You put something into it, it won't give you everything you've put in. No. This one is is like one of the least subtractive ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. You know? I think that's right. I and think that straight away, that first impression neck. Very light. Very light. And this doesn't have relief either. No, it's, it's it's a traditional relief. do have relief that time. What's the neck? That's a fifth. Massive. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's massive. A, well, it's a baseball bat, it's, isn't it? It's whopping. And that's supposed to be the similar profile to the other one as well. It's, what you've got, that and that, is the same guitar. This is thicker than, than all, all of them. them. Oh, it's yeah, the thickest yeah. thickness ball in the room. That's proper. <laughs> on driving. straight to a classic. Alright. Straight, yeah, there you go. So 
that was that's a classic. It's one of the newer classics. Thanks, go. <laughs> <laughs> It's just got like a yeah. So these when obviously this that's a twenty nineteen, so that's right on the change of obviously we just stopped doing the traditional. But in essence these these two are about the same money. Right. Um if memory serves, I think they're about the sixteen, seventeen mark before they stopped doing them and went on to the fifties style stuff and that's where you ended up with zebra pickups and things like that on trans on um, classic, sorry. I think that you got a lot of guitar in such case with the with the traditionals. Uh, I think it's basically what is here to what is the fifties standard wherever it may have gone. Um the fifties standard to what's here, very, very similar. You just get slightly less output with your pickups. But in regards to fit and finish and feel Oh yeah. Same guitar yeah, yeah, really. Same, um, same slight well these have got the speed knobs for speed purposes. Well yeah. So they're just bigger, but they're obviously of the same sort of style. Um Nashville style bridge, it's bigger. Um the later ones are aluminium really light uh stop tails. Uh neck profile's the same, still get binding, you still get all that sort of stuff, and you get close on tuning pegs, which is obviously a classic 58-59 look of Les Paul rather than Grover's, which is your yeah, 60s stuff. So yeah, I don't know, I think that looks quite cool, but I don't know if I can live with that. Yeah, it's just whether you're gonna I don't know. I feel like it's a bit too it's, too much of an answer. It it's the way so I like a wide fat neck, mm. you know, um but it's, I think it's the way it comes out as well. It's, it's the strings, shoulders on the neck. The shoulders, shoulders here. Yeah, it's, it's, you... it's that little bit there, sort of just set back from the binding. Just that strip down there, which is where it can make a break. Um, I didn't really ever feel for that in a guitar. So the chap came here and said about shoulders. He has got really pronounced shoulders. And I thought, what the hell are you on about? And then as I felt it, I thought, oh wow, no, I can feel that. It's, it's got so much there. And it's in that little bit of your finger here when it's there. You can feel it here. Yeah, and you go, yeah. wow, that's some massive shoulders. So, yeah, it's um, it is something it's that done some shrugs that thing. Absolutely, it's been on the been, been, it's on, the, been on the old uh, on the down. press. It's been on the shoulder press. Mm. Well, I'd say for Les Pauls, you've played or felt just about all of them, and you, I'm guessing, no further or no more <laughs> understanding of what they are because I think one thing that we've demonstrated is they are all different. Thank you.